Yeah, they had us the first half. I'm not going to lie. They had us. We weren't defeated, but they had us. This game was a very good game for the Cardinals. Now, though we only really shined in the second half, we did very good in the first half as well. Now, offensively, we weren't really there in the first half, but defensively, we were still there and we were forcing stops. It only let up 10 points, which is pretty good. And for how many opportunities we ended up giving the Panthers, our defense definitely balled out this game. Then we continued with our trend going in second half. Something happens. Something happens in that locker room. I'm not sure what Cliff's saying, what Vance is saying. Someone says something in there. We just come out swinging. Cardinals scored on every single drive in the second half except for nailing the ball to end the game. That is the type of offense we can and should be consistently. I'm not sure why it takes us to go into the second half to do it. But we sh we have shown that it can be done and that we can do it. So I think this offense could be returning to it to its old form. Now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and look at some of these stats. We'll start defensively because we definitely balled out. We had two sacks in this game. Zach Allen had one. And Dennis Gardner had one, which Zach Allen balled out this game. The amount of pass deflections he had at the at the line was insane. He was doing it every single drive. He, I believe, he had five or six, but he definitely went off and leading uh, one of those deflects to go ahead and go to uh, Dennis Gardner, forcing an interception and for him to run over Baker Mayfield. Also, Jalen Thompson had an interception himself as well. If we can keep this defense consistently, we would be amazing this entire rest of the year. But I do understand that Carolina does not have the best offense. And so, though we did have a great game, we do have much harder uh, opponents to face which uh, with much better offenses. So I do understand that, but nonetheless... Our defense went in there and handled business. And offensively, we, we did the exact same thing. Now, maybe not in the first half. We we only had three points. But like I said, something happens in that locker room every time. And we just came out, and we came out firing. In the third quarter, we would throw up a touchdown. In the fourth quarter, we put up 16 points. The Cardinals were unstoppable. We were killing the clock. Uh, we were moving the ball. Our run game was existent. It was crazy. James Conner had 55 rushing yards. Eno Benjamin had 36. Kyler had 26. And Daryl Williams had 19. Everybody was getting their share. And we were just working that Carolina defense. And receiving-wise, we did really good as well. Now, Greg Dortch wasn't really implemented into this game very much. He had one catch for six yards, which I think definitely is a problem when he was... Uh, when he's been performing arguably like our receiver one. So I think he definitely should be getting more snaps over Andy Isabella. But I do think with him dealing with injury, he did get limited snaps. So I'll let this, I'll let this pass by. But I would like to see Dorch get more reps because that's kind of, it's stupid that he isn't. But Marquise Brown had six catches, 88 yards, and a touchdown, which was a beautiful catch on the on the sideline of the end zone. As well as Zach Ertz having six receptions as well with 47 yards and a touchdown himself. Which, Zach Ertz and Kyler's connection is, is doing very well and all he's doing is getting better and better. So this by the end of the year, this duo could be very deadly, especially with Hopkins back. And taking more attention off of Ertz, it's going to be something. And we also got to see Trey McBride for the first time. He had 24 yards and three catches. Nothing special, but we did, we did get to see him actually play today, so that was a good thing. And Rondell Moore did return from injury after being gone the beginning of the season so far. And honestly, we used him terribly. Nothing but screens, nothing... That would work either. We gave him that terrible run on a uh, fourth and inches, and we just we weren't really smart with how we used him. So we definitely need to work on that. 
But besides that, offensively, we were pretty good. Now, clock management-wise, that's a whole different story. Play games are still constant. But we are definitely looking better, and we had less today. But we definitely need to clean that up more. And also, Cliff needs to fix up his play calling. He had very bad play calling, and uh, he had very bad play calling in that first half. And definitely needs to get his head on straight with going forward and just taking points. He needs to fix that issue. But besides that, this Cardinals team was really good. And I'm not sure if there's much I would fix personally because I was very I was very happy with our performance today. And I think this was a perfect uh game for the Cardinals to go in, dominate and lead us into the Eagles next week which we know is going to be an extremely tough game. But I think this this game helped get our confidence up and showed what our offense can do. But that's going to be the video. Let me know down below your guys' thoughts on this game. And also be sure to hit that like and sub button. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.